The company is AGI Innovations uh, Inc. And what, what we do, we're a pure uh, research and development company uh, trying to develop real intelligence in artificial intelligence, so a brain that can think and reason the way humans do, uh, not for any particular application, but in a very broad range of, of, of applications. Um, and it's actually the, the, the second go around of uh, the research company. I, I started the original company about 12 years ago, and we did we were in a pure research mode for about four or five years and at that point we had developed sufficient technology um, to, to actually commercialize uh, sort of our first version of the of the brain and we started a commercial company um, that automates phone calls so you know when you call a, call a company and you talk to a machine and you hate it well, most people hate it. Well, you'll hate ours a lot less because they have some intelligence. But that was really our first first version, you know, a, a very sort of low-level uh, attempt at that. But it took five years of my life to get the commercial company up and running. So now for uh, um, that, that company's, I'm now out of, out of running the company and day-to-day -day involvement there. And uh, so a year ago, I, I restarted the Pure Research Company. And we basically are actually more in a development phase than a research phase because a lot of ideas we already have generated and researched in the past, but that we really need to implement and, and, and develop further. And uh, so we have funding for several years with a team of 10 people at the moment and expect to grow. And we're going after the, the, the big difficult challenge of, of having human level thinking and reasoning and understanding. Before this, I actually had a uh, software hardware solutions company uh, providing um, financial software to, to medium-sized companies. And in developing software for many years and many generations of software, I became painfully aware of how stupid and brittle and limited normal application software is. Uh, and when I, when the company took it public and I had enough time and money on my hands to, to kind of sit back and you know, recalibrate, uh, I, re I really thought there is a way of building software that is intelligent and not as brittle and stupid and limited as, as pretty much all the software we, we're using. And, uh, you know, I spent several years then um, uh, just educating myself, doing research of what have other people done and, and you know, what are some of the ideas from epistemology, theory of knowledge, uh, psychology, developmental learning, you know, human development and, and cognition, uh, intelligence testing, all different aspects of trying to understand what is intelligence, what's important in intelligence, and how can we possibly put it into machines. And I couldn't think of anything more exciting, a, a, a grander challenge, or you know, uh, for, to be working on. So, um, just the the uh, idea that I think we are at a, a time in history where that is a that is a, a project we, we can now solve soon. So, um, I, I do expect machines to to be. Uh, as intelligent as, as humans in terms of problem solving and understanding and in fact in many ways they'll, they'll be much more capable than humans because of course they, they can have photographic memory, they can instantaneously communicate with each other, have uh, direct access, are plugged into the internet so they can just think a query and get the answer as it were. So in, in many ways they will be more capable than, than, than humans and undoubtedly that will have a major impact on, uh, in, in a lot of areas of, of, of human endeavor and, uh, I, 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 and I don't see how that is going to be avoided. I mean there's too much to be gained by having this extra intelligence that you know, for better or for worse we are, we are going to, to do it and it's going to be for better in my opinion in, in, in many areas because it will help us solve really intractable problems or problems that are intractable to humans uh, or seem to be intractable um, you know, like energy and pollution and uh, aging a lot of uh, medical problems are just in inherently too, too difficult for, for us to solve. Um, so I, I think that is coming and, and I think it will be largely a good thing but of course anything as powerful as that also has, has its risks and dangers.